today, this community is under attack. Rights are being stripped away. Freedoms are eroding. More and more state laws are being passed targeting this community. Just last night, if you saw the news, we had to fend off more than 50 anti-gay amendments that Republicans tried to force into the government funding bill. These were extreme me measures aimed directly at this community, measures that would have limited health care, eroded protections for same-sex couples, and more. And they serve only one purpose, to spread hate and fear. History teaches us that democracies don't disappear overnight. They disappear slowly, subtly, silently. A book ban, a court decision, a don't say gay law. Before World War II, I'm told, Berlin was the center of LGBTQ culture in Europe. One group of people loses their rights, and then another, and then another. Until one morning you wake up and you no longer live in a democracy. Remember that feeling? Yeah. Remember how you woke up and you said to yourself, oh my God, what just happened? Yes, we cannot let that happen again. Because I don't want to wake up with that feeling like, oh, we should have started earlier, or oh, we should have done more. No, we have to begin now. We have to meet this moment as if our rights are at stake, because they are as if our democracy is on the line, because it is. There are victories in the small moments, too. Moments that would have been unimaginable just a few decades ago. Being free to walk down the street as your authentic self. Coworkers that use your chosen names and pronouns. Communities that support you and understand you. Yes, the Magus extremists are seeking to erase these hard-fought gains, trying to unwind all the progress that we've made. They want us to be afraid. They want to take our victories away. But we won't let them. Your president won't let them. We're going to fight, and we will win. With that determination, we will win this election. Today, tomorrow, and all of the days after, until all of the people in all of the places can live freely, surrounded by love. I love you. Your president loves you. Thank you for sharing this time with me. Thank you.